Alright yo guys what's going on it's Sword Rage and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial that has been highly requested to me aside the IW4X1 and that is fixing Call of Duty 4. So for those of you guys that have bought Call of Duty 4 at any point in time after I want to say March or April of earlier this year in 2018 you may notice that uh, you're on a completely different version of COD 4 and for some reason you just can't get into any games and nothing seems to be working properly. I've recently gone ahead and reinstalled Call of Duty 4 uh, don't worry about Punk Buster you shouldn't have an issue with that but so again though for those of you guys that may have recently bought Call of Duty 4 on PC, you go to join a game, uh, I mean this is just my favorites list, but you notice that I won't be able to join into either of these servers. I'll try and go ahead and join uh, C4S right now. It's going to say that I can connect, but server uses a different protocol version 6, you have protocol version 7. Same exact thing goes with the Gamer Squad server, which is the modded 1.8 version of the server, and again, server requires protocol version 17, please install the unofficial COD4X update, blah blah blah. So, essentially with this 1.8 version that you have, uh, you're not able to find a lot of servers, or at least you won't be able to connect into them. Down here in the lower right hand corner you're going to notice that you're on version 1.8.13620 and again for some odd reason this version is just completely busted you can't really join it to a whole lot of servers so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to fix that and give you guys the proper version that you will need so first things first what you guys need to do is go ahead and download the 1.7 of cod 4 which i've left the google drive link for that down in the description below it's not a very large file it's only like three megabytes or something like that it shouldn't take you very long to download and now go into your steam file or really wherever you have call of duty 4 downloaded i personally have it on my ssd and now what you guys are going to do is go ahead and delete the iw3mp.exe out of your call of duty 4 folder simply click drag and replace it and now from this point in time you can go ahead and launch it from right here you can go ahead and launch it from steam doesn't matter although i would personally recommend that you just launch it from steam so it'll save your profile data and now you guys will notice that you are on the 1.7.568 version of call of duty 4 or just the 1.7 version and now i'm able to join both of these servers if you guys have been watching me for a really long time you guys already know what c4s is uh, this is the main server that i play on that's 1.7 not a modded server and now at this point in time you guys will notice you already have more servers there's more servers that you can join you shouldn't have an issue at all trying to join any server although a majority of these servers where it says there's 88 people on them these are all redirect servers but again for example you should have absolutely no problem joining into a server like c4s and now uh specifically for gamer squad if you go to join this server which is on the it's on the modded 1.8 version like i was talking about earlier you'll go ahead and download the cod 4x install if you want this is completely up to you but basically what the modded 1.8 version of cod 4 is is it gives you more it basically gives you the option to join more servers that have like more custom mods and stuff on it like uh, custom map servers custom weapons all sorts of stuff like that server you have attempted to join requires cod 4x 1.8 community made cod 4 patch there is backwards compatibility to the other 1.7 servers like for example c4s so it's completely up to you if you want to stay on this version of cod 4 i personally just prefer 1.7 there's little to no difference whatsoever but if you want to go ahead and be on the 1.8 you can go ahead and just click that but if you want to stay on 1.7 just click abort and you will still join into the server so aside being able to join into modded servers like like this or do custom map servers really the only difference between the 1.8 and 1.7 is you have different stats different classes everything like that and now if you go ahead and leave the server you will still be on the 1.8 version of call of duty 4 as you guys can see if you guys want to go back to the 1.7 if you guys click abort like i did you'll be on the 1.8 version up until you close and quit out of cod 4 but if you guys click that you wanted to download the 1.8 version you want to go back to the 1.7 you'll just have to revalidate your game files and the next time you go ahead and launch up call of duty 4 you will be back on the 1.7 version and again if you guys don't know how to revalidate your game files just right click go to properties local files verify the integrity of the game files it'll go ahead and remove all the modded 1.8 files and you'll be back on 1.7 again if you decided to download that so again with that all being said that's basically it i hope this tutorial was pretty straightforward and lastly the reason as to why i've now done both these tutorials is because i've gotten so many countless comments and mentions in my streams of oh my cod 4 is busted or oh how do i get iw4x to work it's not working properly i've tried explaining to them through the comments and through streams of what to do but i just figured i would go ahead and make these tutorials and uh, make it real simple for everybody so so again though guys that's basically it i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial again i hope it was pretty straightforward for you guys to follow it's been soul rage i will talk to you guys later take care everybody